Hello everybody. I'm back a couple of days later than I expected, but that's okay. I promised to give you a bit of a walk through through my uh, December daily album. This is the album I'm using. And I decided to go, as I said previously, with kind of a craft white cream green gold theme. Um, as I was kind of going through this album, uh, I actually edited some of the things out of the kit that I had previously put in. So I'll just flip you through kind of what I've got going on. Something else I spent a little bit of time doing this morning was um, putting the little gold numbers roughly where I thought they would go. And I threw these in here. Some of these, of course, I won't be using, but this is kind of the green I was aiming for. And I didn't end up with a huge amount of it in my stash, so we'll see how I do. I'm okay if there's a couple of different shades of green. And you'll also see there's a whole bunch of different pocket page styles. Some are like the full six by eight. This is the page that I think I already did a video for at this point, And I decided I'd put that around day three. Still haven't done anything with the back of that yet. And then I threw this one in. I know it's technically not a full green, but I'm, o I'm okay with that. It's kind of a sage gray type green. I'm thinking this will be the page where the picture of our Christmas tree goes because I'll have an opportunity to journal about our ornaments and a few other things. I'll likely end up rounding the corners on these page on these uh, cards just because this one is. And then also on the back too. I ended up using a lot of these pages last year and I kind of wish I'd been a little bit more stingy with them because I really like them. This will probably be a spot to throw something like a an envelope or something in. I just put the paper bag there for now because I have it. And again, I dug through my stash and I grabbed some papers that aren't necessarily Christmas related. Like this one's just a green grid. Oops, sorry. It's actually blank. Um, this one's just a green grid. This one's kind of copper colored stars, but meh, I'm okay with it. And again, not exactly the right green, but we'll see how we go. I may end up moving a lot of the things in this album, so I don't want to get too hung up on the details at this point. This was an acetate that came from, oh, was it Studio Calico? I don't know. It says Holly Jolly, and that's been in my stash for at least three years. I find acetate is usually really hard to use because I'm never really sure how to, how to glue it down. Um, a vellum envelope that I bought. Did I just say envelope? I did. It's an envelope uh, with a little cut apart. And then this was gifted to me from uh, one of my beautiful friends, Debbie. Hi, Deb. Um, and I was thinking this might be kind of a neat insert because they're the same size. Just some more. And some of these are like free printables. I just threw stuff in just to see roughly where things might land and also trying to alternate the different kinds of page protectors so that they're not all the same style back to back. This is one of the only pages I actually have a plan for at this point. Um, I'm thinking this is going to be my cookie page because I found this and I was like, perfect. So I'm thinking this will be like pictures of cookies and the baking process, maybe some word art, maybe a recipe, and then more cookie pictures. Because in my family, um, the grown-ups don't exchange gifts. We bake cookies, and then we exchange those Christmas Day or Christmas Eve. And this was, I thought, kind of neat. I haven't had homemade eggnog in a long time, but I might give it a go again. The whole idea of raw eggs kind of weirds me out at this point, but we'll see. This is another place filler card. I thought this might be a nice spot to throw um, like a Christmas play playlist or something. And then again, freebie filler cards. I likely won't end up using those, but that's okay. More freebies. That's definitely not going to stay. That clashes with what I'm going for. And then this is where things kind of got a little bit more loose. This one says 23rd. Um, 
in our family, we usually get together Christmas Eve and then we get together again Christmas Day. So there's probably going to be a lot of pictures. I'm thinking there'll probably be like some sort of fold out here. I'm not really sure what's going to happen on this side. But my husband and I don't have kids, so Christmas Eve is usually about going and hanging out with uh, his mom and dad. I found this. It's a 12 by 12 piece of paper that I cut down to 7 by 8.5. And, and I liked it because where I cut it, it actually stops exactly at 26. So that might be kind of neat. Maybe I'll make some sort of a list or something there. That is hideous. I just, I can't even. Definitely going to have to cover that just way too loud so at this point will be around the 27th and usually the 27th to the 31st is usually pretty low-key at that point we're all kind of visited out um, so it's more like going for coffee visits with family so I don't know if I'll actually keep going past the 25th 26th I just put a couple of page protectors in just in case I do um, and so I've got a little bit of wiggle room and so that is basically my album. Um, so stay tuned to see how I how I deck it out. And uh, yeah, I'll also be doing some more foundation pages, I think. I won't do a huge amount. It'll probably be like these kind of foundation pages that I work on. Something that's very specific to a certain day or if I have a vision for it. Otherwise, it'll probably just be pretty loose. Um, I don't like to over prepare because I never know what pictures are going to land where. And I also thought I should probably mention, um, I'm likely not going to be taking a picture every day. I'll probably do like days where I take 12 pictures and then days where I take nothing. And I'm okay with putting those pictures in on the days that, you know, it might not be the December the 3rd that a picture is taken that ends up on this page. And I'm okay with that. It's more of like an advent to me just to kind of document some of the stuff that goes on in our December. Hopefully this December will be a little bit busier than last year. We'll end up doing some parades and stuff. Um, because of COVID last year, of course, a lot of those things were canceled. So um, hopefully this will be a little bit more exciting than last year's album, but that remains to be seen. Anyway, thanks again for coming to hang out with me. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Bye for now.